Business is often about seeing an immediate return on your investment, so waiting five years for a return can seem like a lifetime. But that is exactly what one couple in Union is doing. Today, they poured their first batch of whiskey into barrels. As New Center's Amanda Hill reports, if things work out well over the next few years, they'll be bottling Maine's first distilled whiskey since Prohibition. Well, really, it starts with the grain. So this is, this is, uh, this is malted barley. Every business idea starts malted somewhere. Pasta. We uh, put the grain in and very hot water, about 160 degrees. And essentially, we're making a very simple beer. This idea is more than just another main brew. Sweetgrass farm owners Constance and Keith Bodine are hoping to be the first distillers of Maine whiskey since Prohibition. The whiskey is distilled twice, which makes it smoother than most. Steam up here as this tube goes down through the condenser, what it is what it's called. It, the steam condenses to liquid. And there you have the White Dog, a very strong whiskey at about 75% alcohol. It gives off a flavorful scent and taste, but whether or not it's good enough to market remains to be seen. This first pour still needs at least five to seven more years of aging. Plus, Maine has tough laws on selling spirits. If something we bottle here goes to the warehouse in Augusta and comes back to us before we can sell it in our shop. It also means they're paying for it even before selling it, since they're both the manufacturer and the retailer. But so far, with thousands invested, the Bodines say it's worth it. So I think it's going to have um, a very main taste to it. Whether it's whiskey from Ireland or scotch from Scotland, wherever barley is grown, it carries its own distinct flavor. So in keeping with the main theme of this whiskey, the barley comes from Aroostook County. With more, more local brewers in Maine and distillers coming on board, it, it uh, really helps to keep the cycle going where you know, they'll be, they know they have a home for their barley when, when they grow it. It's a risky and time-consuming investment, but it's one the Bodines are sure will more than bloom when they finally pour their first bottle of Maine's own twice-distilled whiskey. In Union, Amanda Hill, News Center. The folks in Sweetgrass Farms say each year they'll be opening the barrels and sampling the whiskey just to see how it's coming along. In the meantime, they make their own wine, rum, and brandy that are available in some stores in Maine. Their location officially opens to the public on Mother's Day. It looks as though rain is on the way. Joe Cupo's